So the lack operand hypothesis was first proposed by Jacob and Monad in the year of 1965 and they shared Nobel Prize in the field of medicine. So what lack operon exactly explains? Lack operon explains the metabolism of lactose in prokaryotic organisms like bacteria. Okay? And here what is the meaning of operon? Operon means a cluster of genes. It is a functional unit or functional segment of DNA which consists of a cluster of genes. So what are the different type of genes are there in this operon? Let us see. Though these are the genes. Those are called as a regulatory gene, I, promoter gene, P, operator gene, O and structural genes Z, Y, A. So you can see. So these are the arrangement of all these genes. These genes are clustered. So that is called as operon. This is a functional unit of DNA. Okay. So just imagine in a medium bacteria is growing. So in that medium there is no uh, lactose. Then what happened? So at that moment here repressor protein is produced. How repressor protein is produced? Regulatory gene. So this regulatory gene that is I it undergoes transcription and forms repressor RNA and forms uh, repressor protein by translation. So this repressor protein it binds operator region C. Repressor protein is binding with this operator region. Whenever repressor protein binding with this operator region, it blocks the passage of RNA polymerase enzyme because RNA polymerase enzyme is essential for the process of transcription and translation of structural genes. So now what happened? Operator gene is blocked. Whenever operator gene is blocked, it prevents or it, it blocks the passage of RNA polymerase enzyme. Okay. So, there is no expression of Z, Y, A genes. See, repressor binds operator region and prevents RNA polymerase from transcribing operon. So, there is no transcription and translation here. So, this condition, it is called as a switch off condition. Okay. So, whenever, when this, con this condition happens in the absence of inducer, what is inducer? Lactose is inducer. Whenever there is no lactose in the medium, then there will be no secretion of enzymes by this process. So now let us take the second condition that is uh, just imagine like uh, when we supply the uh, lactose to the bacteria, okay? when we add the lactose in the medium where bacteria is growing. So then what happened? So here regulatory gene, so this regulatory gene it undergoes transcription and forms repressor mRNA, repressor mRNA undergoes translation and it forms repressor protein. And here what happens, the inducer which is lactose, it enters and it binds with this repressor. Okay. Whenever inducer that is lactose binds with repressor, that repressor becomes inactive repressor. So now that repressor is not able to bind this operator region. Okay. So now what happened here, operator region is free. Whenever operator region is free, mRNA I mean uh, RNA polymerase, RNA polymerase enzyme, it finds the promoter region, okay? It finds the promoter region and uh, it, it uh, starts the transcription of structural genes. Those are ZYA, ZYA structural genes, they started transcription and uh, they form lac mRNA. So this lac mRNA is polycystronic mRNA. That means here what happened? So this polycystronic mRNA undergoes translation and it is able to synthesize and it is able to produce three types of enzymes. So what are the three types of enzymes here? And those are nothing but beta galactosidase, permease and transacetylase. Okay. And here let us see the functions of these three types of enzymes. Beta galactosidase, it helps in the hydrolysis of lactose. Okay, lactose is a disaccharide. So whenever it undergoes hydrolysis in the presence of beta galactosidase, it gives glucose and galactose. Glucose and galactose are monomers, right? right? And next permease. Permease helps a, to increase the permeability of cell wall to this beta galactosidase. And transestylase, it simply transfers acetyl group from one molecule to another molecule. Like this, these three types of enzymes helps in the metabolism of lactose in prokaryotes like bacteria. So this entire process, it occurs 
in the presence of lactose whenever lactose is there in the medium then only it occurs so it is called as a switch on condition switch on condition but here switch off condition switch off condition means there is no lactose no secretion of enzymes unnecessarily why enzymes will secrete okay when there is no lactose but here lactose is there that's why enzymes are secreting and they are completing the metabolism of lactose okay so this is the hypothesis of the lac operon